everybody, Baron Dome here. I wanted to go ahead and uh, end this video with exactly the method that I did to kill the Wither. Uh, I didn't think this was going to work in 1.13. I knew it was still uh, a working method in 1.12. Uh, luckily, it still works in 1.13. And what I'm talking about is trapping a Wither in the, the Nether Roof. You can do it uh, through the, the Bedrock layer of the Overworld too. But the, the Nether Roof is uh, seems to be a little bit easier to accomplish. And I'm going to explain why. Right now, I'm on a single-player version of my ChallengeCraft server, uh, so it's using the same seed. Uh, even if it was a different seed, it wouldn't matter because Bedrock in any seed is the exact same no matter what seed you use. Bedrock uh, configuration never changes. And what we're, we're looking for is a specific 3x3 three three pattern, and that's what I alerted to in my video uh, I'm right here. And you're probably wondering, how the hell did I find this? Uh, luckily, there's an easy website that shows this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to that right now. So right now, this is the website called Wither 3x3 or Wither3x3.net. And what you do is you basically put in any coordinates of where you're at in the nether. And it'll tell you the exact position of one of those 3x3 three three areas. So right now, I'm at 28172. So I go ahead and put in 28. 172 and it obviously my closest one is 174 now if I look up see that right there the center 3 28 174 and this obviously like I said this works in any Minecraft seed because bedrock never changes throughout any of the seeds they're all the same and what I'm doing is I'm looking for this 3x3 three three method right here and the the website's pretty cool uh, it actually goes into an explanation by panda4994 with the explanation of why you use the 3x3 three three block area. And uh, you can go ahead and check out the website yourself later. And this is great for killing the wither. Remember, it's wither3x3.net. Okay, so you have your 3x3. Three three. Exactly how are you going to spawn the wither in? What you need to do first is put in two blocks between the ceiling and where you're gonna spawn the wither. So two blocks, and you can put it, and then you put another block here. And it doesn't matter what block this is. Uh, it could be obsidian, netherrack, it doesn't matter. And then what you do to spawn the wither, is you do that. So you see how I have, uh, there's one, one space right between the wither and the ceiling. And you can spawn the wither sideways like this. Uh, this change happened in 1.8, I believe, that uh, you can start spinning the wither sideways. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spawn the wither right here. And then he's going to get trapped in the bedrock. And he, I don't even think he'll break this block. Okay, I had to turn that down because that was really loud. But yeah, he's trapped in there right now. And he actually, if you notice his health bar, he is taking damage. So I can really technically just stand here uh, and he'll eventually die on his own. Or I could just come in and do some damage. Obviously, the sword's not going to do anything because it's no enchantments. But if you put like Smith 5 or Smite 5 on it. But he's not escaping. He can't break this block because his heads are stuck in the uh, the bedrock. So he's gonna eventually die. Yeah, he's not coming out at all. So I can just sit here completely, not have to worry. And just like that, an easy wither kill. So the whole thing is, uh, you don't have to do those tunnels anymore. Uh, you don't have to uh, prepare with, you know, uh, potions or anything. Use this website, the wither3x3.net. Put in your coordinates in the nether where you're at, and it'll tell you the closest 3x3 three three area where you can spawn the wither in, and it'll get its body stuck in the bedrock, and you never have to worry about it. Uh, and this works... Right now up to version 1.13.2, so it's 
uh, it's still a valid way to kill the wither. Once again, I want to thank you guys again for watching my videos, and I'll catch you all later. See ya.